It's your main man, PBM Louie. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the 10K Report. Yes, sir. In the front of me, we got... It's names, man. What's up? <laughs> to the far right of me, we got... Rico 10 Stacks. You know what I mean? make it look like... And our special him. guest, yeah. Ava Rex. You heard? Yeah. Young Avi. What's up? Ava Rex. Bank, what's, what's up, up, baby? What it be like? What's up, I bro? I appreciate you for having me, bro. You already know, bro. What's up? What's up? We in, we in. Let's the get building. it, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. Happy to have you, bro. How you I feeling, though? It. Y'all feel good, man. Um, Got that album out. I, I, that shit, I felt like I gave birth. Man. Right, right. We see you working, bro. <laughs> you know, you 10 mixtapes in one album, man. Why, why it took so long to get here? Um, life, bro. You know how it is, man. Just like, you know, we was just having a conversation. Right, 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 right. Off here. Being a diaphous kid. Oh, right, right, right. And state baby, basically. Coming up from nothing. Coming up from nothing, right. man. That's and and trying to make something. Right. Okay. Building. Hey, bro, do me a favor. Turn your mic to the side real quick so people can see you. Like to the side of your face type shit. Like okay. this. You see, so like this? Are these? Are these? Yeah, I'm honest. Right here. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. like this? Yeah, perfect. right. Perfect. All right, word. Yeah. Word. All right, so, let's do it. Let's do it. Humble beginnings, bro. feel like I got the Bobby Brown mic on the side. <laughs> 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 now, that's what people want to see. Uh, You know, we was revisiting, listening to your music. A little bro called in, chapped in. He like, yo. I think I like this nigga. I think I like this nigga. Oh, word. Oh, I, so I was, fu- I I was fucking that. with him. I sent I him a glizzy. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, it's, 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 it's age group. They rock with Right, 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 right. right. Cause for me, nah, it's, I was dope. it's really the the beat placement, I feel like, it's for this generation. Right. It's your content and your flow, your delivery is uh, more seasoned uh, artistry. You know what I'm saying? It's more like, it sound like, it sound like, um... Like 2090s rap, like like you kind of. I was gonna ask you who was your big influences. You know what I'm saying? Cause hearing your sound, it don't sound. You don't rap like rap niggas now. Right, that, right, right. That's, that's moving around right Got now. Got a whole nother world. I'm on you know a whole saying? other planet. You know what I'm saying? So like, what's some of your influences? Like what, what, the big what, what, ones. What the big ones. Um, far as rap rappers, right? Artistry, Artist, artistry. I because it's a mix of artistry and my really my life shit that I really been through. You dig what I'm oh, saying? Do you then? So, but I, but the artistry wise, um, I'm niggas like Max B, French Montana, Max B's um, number one, uh, Fab, of course, um, right. Real one. Rough Riders, mm. Rockefeller, G Unit, all that whole like yeah. late 90s. You gotta understand, right? Like, I was a kid during the 90s, so I didn't really understand what Big and Pac was saying, but I love that shit. I'm like, oh, this, shit, you know, I'm in the car, I'm in the Pathfinder listen to this shit. Yeah, this yeah, shit yeah. hard, right? You say in the Pathfinder. Yeah, because we used to talk to him. It, we used to be in the path, I used to be in the back when you open the glass at, you feel me? And I had to hear this shit, and I yeah. loved it, right? That's what's up. But then when I started getting older and started understanding what they was talking about, like, in the early 2000s that's when 50 came out that's with the get rich die trying hove had the whole rockefeller who didn't want to throw the rock in the air like that so right, just right. listening to them dudes you ain't had no choice but to be nice that's dope so i got so because you said that did that influence your your mixtape run hell yeah Is watching wheezy watching that's wheezy watching wheezy watching gucci um just watching all those guys being consistent like even with Joel santana when he was dropping the Bat, like cook cracks and all of that shit. Just watching Max dropping all the domains and when he, him and Jim was going at it, like it even Dipset, like when they had a whole collection, Cam, G Unit, just watching that platform, I'm like, yo, you know what? I gotta work. Mm, right. I gotta keep getting better and better. So let me ask you this question. Like, it's say, you know, you came out 2007. Right. Like, as far as just recording, just, just recording. Just I was at this man's studio. At that name studio. So, like, wow. in two. In 2012, you dropped your first project. Dropped my first and project. around that time, the game changed from Very hard changed. copy CDs to just digital platforms, right, so right, on and so right. forth. How was the transition for you? Like, I was, how did you succeed on that transition? Or I was, was you stuck? I was still... Nah, nah, I knew... The one thing about me, I'm a keeper with time. Because right. I got to make money. I'm right. a hustler first before this rap shit. Fact, he, right. he, he tell you that. Like, I'll, I'm trapped always for got real. To the, right, right. Yeah, I always got to the bag. So I knew that I was going to have to do that, but I had to watch a lot of the stuff on the internet because, you know, we watch everything on YouTube. That's right. the school yeah. of university. So I'm watching those things, trying to figure out how this whole shit work, but at the same time, I'm still going to New York with my CDs right. in the bag, trapping my shit. Right. Selling them five ten dollar pop, rapping the niggas in the street. I got I got my little Bluetooth speaker and shit like that. I'm playing my shit like yo, check it out. I got the headphones putting on people's heads. Yo, check my shit out. They mm-hmm. like, oh, I like that. Because I was definitely I was having a conversation when he said he wanted you up here. I, uh, I'm like, damn, I heard bro name before. Yeah, like, I heard bro. I've been around. Right, and but I seen the hiatus. I mean, from four years to now, 
it was a, like a little blockage where you wasn't really dropping too much music. Yeah. What was happening? In what years? Now, what years? We from, from 2016 to now. To it now? Was, it was like small little things dropping, but I'm saying like a real full-fledged project just going crazy like you just dropped now. Um. Well, 2013, I was in some hot shit so I can't talk about. That's around time current. we both was in some hot shit. Yeah, we was, we in was some, both. Stand, oh yeah, because we, we was in the welfare office. We was both standing yeah, in line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was really. Get, yeah, I, I was on my way to the shelter. We was in the streets. Yeah, so <laughs> I was really in some hot shit, and I felt like God was like, "Okay, nigga, you got you. You were slick in that situation. Right, I'm gonna huh. put you in this shit. You gonna see what it's about." Right. So when I got out, 2014, a year later, I literally went in June 2013. Got out June 2014. I had a I had my own place in Elizabeth. Right. So. It was just trying to maintain that. I was in and out of court a lot. I'm, I was on child support. So I was on probation for like eight, nine years. Mm. That's another from thing. Child support. From child support. You go to jail behind that. I was just Hell that yeah. You know how many times I had to turn myself in? Right. For, for, uh, for uh, You know how many warrants I had for my arrest? That's right. crazy. You know how many times I had to turn you from myself your driver's in? Yeah. License, all that. And you can't leave the country either. Nope. You got to stay to this point. To this so day. I just got off that shit. Free my Boy. niggas off child support, man. <laughs> for <laughs> real, yo. <laughs> for real. This shit is real, yeah, bro. Yeah. I just got off probation for child support. So it was just a mix of that and then trying to maintain, keeping an apartment. And right. Life, real life situations. Right. But if you listen to my music, you can hear me talk about right. those things. Yeah. You can feel that energy like, those yo, the bro really relevant. going through it. He really going through so it. So how you really survive, right, coming from Jersey City, being in Newark, Irvington, Elizabeth, <laughs> fucking with the whole, you know what I mean? You fucking with different cities, yeah. different townships. And they know them from right. certain parts. In certain parts. So how they work out for you, you know what I mean? Well, um, I got I come from a big family. Mm. That was another thing. I had a lot of family in the street. So right. I had some cousins that was Crips, some that was blood. Right. Some people knew my my family from the streets and, and my uncles in them. My uncle, he was one of the biggest drug dealers in Jersey City and stuff like that. Right, right, so right. like I was kind of good on that, but I still had to prove who I was. So, you know, from that era, we had to fight a lot. If, yeah. From the early 2000s, we really you had to that. throw hands. The, the people want to know. They said, we're in Jersey City. We're in Jersey City, y'all. I'm from Midtown, Fairmont, Bergen, and Monticello, and I got family all over the hill. Shout out to the hill. Shout out the whole fucking Jersey City, man. The hell, is a little wild. Very there. wild. <laughs> very wild. <laughs> very wild. Be known. His stomach Very grounds. wild. <laughs> you know but now, nah, the, the, the answer to your question, um... I had I had to put it down out here too. The only thing I didn't game bang because right. I didn't want my grandmother already knew I was getting into a lot of trouble. I was already mad at the world for being a state kid and all that, right? Right, right. right. So I didn't want her to get that call, yo, um, excuse me, Miss Williams, your grandson got shot today, blah, blah, blah. You know them phone calls. Yeah, and I thing. she was already trying to handle I had both of my grandmothers raising me. Right. So Half of the week, I had to go to school in Irvington, right? Right. I had to stay in the projects. I'm a project baby for real. Crescent, Crescent Land, right? Yeah, yeah. Then I had to go to Jersey City the other half of the week because that's how my caseworker orchestrated it until I got old enough to get my own apartment. Oh, wow. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was blessing it. Like how you said you was in the fall. I right. almost got sent mad times, but I had to go to the to the, uh, the, the shit, the office. office yeah, but yeah. long story short, I, I had to... Earn my stripes out here, getting into a bunch of brawls with niggas, and I, I had to put, I had to knock a few niggas out. So, right, right, you know, right. but your, my fault. I didn't mean to cut no, you no, off. You, What's you, your background in Rawway, too? Because I know you was running yeah, around. Yeah, I was. So, so, my mom's is married to my stepfather, and we lit, we moved to Rawway, I think, like 90, around like 97, uh -huh. 98, and then I left. Dyfa snatched me up in 04. Okay. So, I, had, I, was, I was out there for some couple years. Okay. And um, but I was still up in Newark and Jersey City because my family, we right, all right, from right. there. Like you know how it is, like when you about to move them type of areas, but you still gotta move back to Newark because you gotta yeah. stack up your bread a little bit more, right, right, right. and then transition. So and my grandmother had to watch us anyway. Uh -huh. So but Rawway, oh yeah, they definitely know me. Shout out to them. I was in the projects. Yeah, yeah. I'm I was in the that. projects heavy. They know me real well. So Just like, down least. yo, I used to be down there heavy, and then. Just getting into trouble. That's another thing. Like, people know me getting into trouble. Right, the niggas right. who I'm hanging around. You know what I mean? We probably know the same people. We probably do. So, mm -hmm. like, just my affiliations and my family and getting into a couple situations and right, right. those type of things. So, so where you at now in terms of, of all of that? Like, you you trying to separate yourself from, obviously, certain certain beginnings. Like, you, you claim to your humble beginnings. And it, it, to me, it seems like they motivate you, but... I feel like everybody know, like, to get out the hood, you got to get out the hood. You got to get out. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. 
You know what I'm saying? So like, where where are you at now in terms of your ties with people back in Jersey City and no? Oh, we always going to be good because the the one thing about me is that I always gave back to people. When you mm. give back to the hood, you know you kind of easy, but right. still you got to kind of watch it because, for example, what happened with Nip? He was giving back, and it's still. You know, we just out there. We just taught me names. Yeah, you know, we just, just, just on the square. Yeah. That yeah. shit is crazy. Like his DJ hit me up too. Wanted right. to fuck with me. That's a whole another story. But you know, um, to answer your question, I, I I always try to keep good relationships with people. Like I said, I knew this man since two thousand nine. I, when right. I came around this nigga, I was I was literally like eighteen years old, like fresh out of high school. And I was just observing everything what they was doing in that studio because yeah. I thought these niggas was like signed and out already the way how they was moving. They really right. had a yeah. serious movement. And that shit was inspiring me. And they, they, yo, little bro, come. Like, I was the white member. I used to have them big ass knives. Yeah. All that. <laughs> yeah, like, used to be off the hook. I used right. to be off the hook. We used to be in there wrestling in the studio. Oh, shit. man. Those are good times. <laughs> good times. Yo, hey, what's Lenny, up with, your shit going to be dropping that day, Lenny. What's up, with, what's up with my man? Uh, Swift? Yeah, Swift. You know, he, you know, he always cracking. He was. I think when he seen you, he was like, that nigga still like Cousin Skeeter. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, That's my man. We still like Cousin Skeeter. Yo, we used to go in on this nigga. That nigga look like Zorro. Oh, oh man. Zorro. Oh, man. Let me tell you, your name is. Let me tell you, I met names the same exact way like you met him. Wow. Pulled him to the studio 08, 09. Right. From, we started bonding. I brought names to a cookout one day, right? This should be on one of the gang talks. I'm going to give y'all this for free, though, not gang talk. So bring names to cook out. You know, names already met some of my homies, but now this is the first time in my actually hood, in the hood, off of, off of Ellis on 21st. We in the hood. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, he in the midst of it. All, the, all the crackheads. Great, right. Just <laughs> all racist <laughs> niggas. You feel me? The crackheads. So names in there. He brought his, a man with him. This man in there. We, have, we, we had a cookout, crazy cookout. Shit going right. They put, uh-huh. Everybody chilling. He going to sit up like, yo, man, y'all ain't got no ketchup. Who said that name? No name. That's cat. <laughs> you know, at the time, <laughs> not my boy. <laughs> at the time, you know, nobody already know catch up names. Looked at the nigga like yo, 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 yo. Relax, bro. Yeah, yeah. not my boy. <laughs> you around all crazy. It's like the, yeah. it's like the music yeah. stuff says. Yeah. 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 Hey, bro, just get some mustard, all right? Let's get some mustard. I think ADG, ADG happened to be there that day too. I think he pulled up like around that time. Yeah, around that time he pulled up. ADG pulled up. All star. And so, you know what I mean? It was a good thing. And I was just showing love, but just to go back to, like, to speak on how, you know, names, the relevance of, you know, him and people just generally having jokes and yeah. just Word. growing, you know what I mean? That's crazy. Yeah, I just be still everywhere, man. I was keep never those relationships. pulling up nobody hood. Like, that right, was, right, that right. Me. I just now, he had everybody I just saw. That's how I met Bless Me Fly yeah. and all right, the niggas. Right, right, right. That's, that's, that's how I met I him, was too. There. Yeah. I met, though, I met niggas at Name Studio. I met, I met Bless. I met Bless through passing. Through other niggas that was at his studio, like I met Tax and I'm at his studio with them, with ours. You know what I right, mean? Right, That's right. how you know what I mean. Was yeah, bless. I met bless. I'm, I was heavy on MySpace, real heavy on MySpace. Yo, yeah. he the had the charger days? pulling up oh, when yeah, yeah. doing this shit. <laughs> I, mean, I was like, yo, how you get that? Then, yeah, this is when I was really on. Some we was going Ooh. to the how, what we was doing back then, the strip clubs. What we doing? Yo, like remember we had the, the hotel party? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. He about to. Hey, wow. Oh, he got a chance. Go, yo, I should go crazy. I should get locked. Yo. I, mean, I should get to it. So, you know. I was the only <laughs> nigga. I was the only nigga buying Man Grand Crew. Grand Crew. I was the only nigga buying That's Grand Crew. That's a fact. Crew. He did have Grand Crew. That's a fact. Because we was, was the first official Ciroc boys. When, yeah. when Ciroc landed, it was we them. bought a case of that shit. We was in the hood everywhere. But the strip clubs, we used to go crazy in strip clubs. Yeah. Jersey girls. We used to bring them to the strip and stuff to go to the hotel, go get them. <laughs> <laughs> I had to plug. I, mean, no, I, I was cool with a lot of strippers, a lot of porn yeah, stars. Yeah, a lot of fun. You know, shout out to years. L, yo. Shout out to shout L. Shout out to Lady L, man. She be like, yo, names, go pick them up from the um, airport for me. I got you. Yeah, yeah. I remember. We trying to bust them. I remember. We Shout out to Boston, man. Shout out to Stacey. Shout out to Stacey Lane. That's my Shit. homie. Oh, man. I wish I was there. Yo, those are the times. <laughs> you, still, crazy. I told you, you still clutching the um, pacifier with your right, whole right. face. Ah. You was like eight. <laughs> nah. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, man. Oh, shit. We just brought little bro. Uh, out of the LA, his foot different. He came back walking a little different. You went to, off you went camp. to LA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, how, yo, how, yo, I never got a hey, chance yo. to go to LA. Off camera, like, it's, it's I, amazing. I love it. I want to go back. <laughs> off camera, we want to be a chop it up with you. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I was, I was fighting the world. I was fighting the world. <laughs> Young <laughs> nigga fighting the world. <laughs> Y'all here winning because these bitches boosty as hell out here, cuz. These bitches boosty as hell, cuz. Yo, shout out to the food trucks out there, my nigga. Shout out to the bitches. Oh, this shit's good, right? 
Yeah. Oh, they got what? the tacos and all what? that, right? What? The oh, tacos yeah. is busting. I can't wait to get there. Yo. Yeah. How the weed over there? I ain't smoking weed. Every time nigga. he rolled up, he, he slid on me for yeah. some reason. I don't know. I did. I w- what it was hitting like? It was hitting like Mike. Oh, oh shit. shit. It was hitting like, like Mike <laughs> with a little bit of Marvin Gaye. <laughs> with a little bit. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's a catch. Yeah. That's a punch. Damn, that's, that's okay. punch out. I can't ooh. wait to see. What you, what you was, what strands you was smoking? Uh, I had, uh, in the studio, we uh, we had an uh, eight-hour studio session, too. Mm-hmm. In yeah, the studio, I was smoking on Barry White. Very white, very white. Never heard it's of a that. hybrid. It's a hybrid. I love it's those. A hybrid. Smooth. And um, uh, just off the casual, I was smoking a uh, lemon drip. Ooh, that's how I brought that back to Jersey. That Ooh. shit had that boy like this. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, house. Louis talking to me. He like, he like, yo, little bro. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, this little oh, nigga. I'm so right. oh, right. Yo, but back to the music, bro. Um. What do you feel you like you gonna do going forward? Like, what's next? What's your expectations as far as the streaming platforms? As far as you know, we were just talking about the ads. Right, right, as far right. as you know, what I mean, what's the next project? Like, what's really next in your mind? What do you, what's the next big move you feel like you're gonna do? Well, everything I do, I try to write it down on paper. I'm still old school like that, right? right? I smart. do like a, a checklist because right. it's hard to keep up with all that, the passwords and all that shit. So to answer your question, um, it's just going to advance. Like, I've been meeting more people. I've been just really trying to build my network because it's really about all who you know. Right. And I've been meeting a lot of people since I've been... Every week I was dropping... I forgot to tell y'all this. Ava Tuesdays, I was dropping freestyles every week. Right. If you see all those... That meat mill and all right, that. Like, all I was that. dropping that. I put out, like, nine freestyles. That's big. Until my album dropped to build the buzz, and I mm-hmm. noticed that was getting a lot of attention. So um, I just been building up my network, got my checklist, got the streaming platforms, and I've been building up more uh, equipment, investing in some more equipment. That's smart. To get better equipment. And Independence is where it's at. Exactly. Matter of fact, he bought, he bought, bought my, Pro Tools. Yeah, he bought my first Pro Tools off of me. Pro I Tools transferred eight. my, yeah, I transferred it to you. That's right. Oh, that's God, right. Bro. Damn, that's and crazy. I've been running ever since. So I've been running ever since. I've been running. Right. That's how you supposed to do it, bro. Been running, dog. Um, that's what's up, man. You gotta so pay the play, at my brother. Good looking, my brother. Got it, good looking, we we ran. He be if he get me mad with him sometimes, but hey, that's man. my dog. That's Real my nigga dog. At the end of the day. Oh, you know what, <laughs> dog? It's about you know what a lot of people don't understand this business. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be favors done, but like we said, it's always gonna be some type of money exchange because right. that's business. At I'm the end cool of the day. with that. And and mm-hmm. and um. We all don't owe nobody nothing, including you. You don't owe anybody nothing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't like nobody we, owe me nothing. Right, right, and we get what we pay for. Exactly. So at the same time, you know, we, but I'm still with the system, like you said, barter and trade. Right, right, right. You know right, what I mean? Right. So let's see how we can make it work. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? And from there, you know what I mean? We have to see what Yeah, because as a community, we got to learn how to not put a price on everything. We got to put our time on everything. Facts. Our time is everything. The price on stuff change, but your time never change. Never change. Yeah. And your relationships too. Yeah. Right, right, right. Good, good relationships. But some, some, you know what it is? I noticed that some shit is just dead weight. Yeah. I, I got to yeah, get yeah, niggas yeah. numbers That's out of fact. my phone. That's Cut the fact. fact. Too. You know what I mean? Well, some niggas sense. not even allowed to be in my motherfucking phone. I don't Word. even want you in my phone. That'd be the saddest part too, because it really be, I really feel like it's niggas I came up with, like, Niggas I fought niggas with. Niggas I, like, t- yeah. talked about deep shit with. And, like, I'm moving now. And they They're not even there. They just trying to hop in the side seat. You know Word. Right. So you, you you just a minute ago, you was just touching on, you know, you having to pay child support. What's the relationship with you and your child now oh, and your child's mother? Oh, man, we we in the great space now. Um, Shout out to my son and his moms, man. He actually got, he kind of got in trouble today, man. I ain't trying to put his <laughs> business out there. He, you know, it's it's hard with these kids doing this shit online. Right, right. And, yeah. And I, oh, yeah, I'm in college, too. Right, I'm about right. to get ready to graduate oh, in congratulations, January. Congratulations, congratulations. Appreciate it. Congratulations, that's what's up. Appreciate it. Yeah, so, clap that up. Get that man some love. Word, 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 word. We'll get to that. We'll get yeah, to yeah. that. <laughs> but on the NCAA question, Yo, me and her went through a lot because you know we both was on we we been on our own since we was teenagers. Right. Like I said, I was a diapers kid when I met her. We right. met when we was like sixteen. So um, we had our son when we was like nineteen. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Like we've been on our own. Like so, like I just told you, my caseworker orchestrated that whole situation, so I got old enough to get my own apartment. Right. So like I even had time to have fun with my friends and all of that right. shit. When I seen you. I was I was living in my stepmom's basement. Uh huh. And you no, was no, back and forth in Hillside. Yeah, yeah, Hillside. He used to pick me up. Yeah, he used to pick me up and bring me to Irvington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then I got the money to get 
to the trap house. Uh-huh. Right. When I was living across the street from Stopper Shop, and that's when it got real, real. So, so let me ask you this question: oh, being that, right, yeah. being that you, you're not with your um your baby mother right no right. more. Like yeah, actually, she married. Yeah, actually yeah. living in a household no more, right. and or even there. Obviously, you get to see your son, but you're not even there. What's your responsibility, not only to your child but to that household? And, and or is there not a responsibility? No, it's definitely a big response. Like yo, once when she. I think once when she seen me made it out that shelter situation, she was just like, damn, bro, this nigga went through it. Like, right, then right. on top of that, I got him on child support. Yeah, I had him so, so young. And, 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 and another thing, too, shout out to her husband because um he definitely a good dude around my son. Right, that's, that's the a, main, that's mm-hmm. another, you know how that is. Y'all know how that is. I was to ask you about that, too. He's a very good mm-hmm. dude, very good dude. So I never had a problem with him. So he's, he's good. It was just me and her, you know, just trying to get over certain things, and we finally right, got right. over it, right? So when she took me off for child support, Oh, um, man, I still was, like, in debt, so, like, thousands of dollars were still being taken from me. And um, to answer your question of responsibility, um, I, man, I call my son every week on a video chat to make sure he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Um, and, like, for example, when he got in trouble today, we both get on the phone. So, like, she'll be cooking or whatever, right. and he'll be sitting there, like, tearing up because he know he in trouble, and then we discuss it. And we, we, we find a way to, to communicate. Fam, even though we not, I tell him now, I'm like, look, even though me and your mother not together, we still family. Right, right, you right, get right. what I'm saying? That's so that's, a, that's that's another thing what I want to get to the young bulls that's having these kids and, you know, just keep having all these kids. Like, yo, y'all got to break that shit, man. Because right. at the end of the day, yeah, you having fun then, but as you get older, your kid going to get older. And then you going you you're not gonna be thinking how you was thinking right. when you was 20, 21. Right. You're not gonna be thinking like you're that. You're a grown no ass more. man. You're gonna be like, damn, bro, I'm really trying to be in my kid life. My kid don't wanna fuck with me because I wasn't there. Right. right. You get what I'm saying? Right. So that's what I try to tell the younger parents, right. like really reserve your kid. And that's what I'll be saying about what type of music your kids listen to. Oh yeah. You know he, what I mean? <laughs> how do you control that. that? You know, Benny Benny says something like Yo, you know, you turned your, you let your kid go outside and run around and not be in his life, and now he turns a gangster. But the truth is, you made him one. You made yeah. him to a gangster because yeah. he didn't have no other choice. Word. You know what I mean? So just by you sitting here saying that, so it's like, yo, I got a responsibility to my child, to my child's mother, and to the household. And this is how we handle certain things. You know, and that means a lot. You know what I mean? Not to just us, but the people that's hearing. And shout out word, to her word, for respecting word. your pockets, bro. Right, hey, right. Yo, yo, Because we man. appreciate that. Because they can, they, they can get off. The, the, the system is built for them to win, not for us. Hey, right. yo. It, and, it was and how does hell. that... I didn't mean to cut you no, off, No, 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 you good. You how, good, does good. That, how does that work going back to you going to college? Like, what does that do for it your was, child? It was it was a fight. Like, the way I went into college, like I said, I just got out the shelter. So when I was working at Claire Mass Hospital in 2015, I was seeing a lot of people that was motivating me going to Clifton and all these different places. Right, right. Like, I'm like, damn, I've never seen this part of Jersey before. All I know is Northern Jersey City and Elizabeth and Irving right, to the Broadway. I'm like, the hoods. But, like, yo, this is dope. I could live over here. Right. So that was just making me question. Like, and I'm seeing all these kids just going to school and doing all this shit. So I'm like, damn, bro, let me. This is my third time in college, yo. All right. I went to college 17, didn't work because I was still a diapers kid. Then 2010, I tried to go again, but I just had my son. So I had to trap and do what I had to do, let Figure that go. And then third time a charm, and I did it. So, like, and it's done, it's, it's about to be done. And my grandmother, my father, mother had died, so that re- in 2017, so that really pushed me to go. Right. My and, condolences, no, nah, no, nah, thank you. And, um, right. what happened after that? I just, it, it, I'm a fighter, bro. I just had to keep fighting. I've been fighting all my life, so I just had right. to keep fighting and fighting and fighting. Relentless. That's why I like Max B because you see, he got that 75 year yeah. situation, and now it's reducing. He about to come home, yeah, but he a rat, though. I'm gonna be honest, okay. With you. I, 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 what's his name. <laughs> That's what the street's saying. I don't know I, I gotta see the paperwork. That's I ain't gonna say that. I, I, I don't know. That's I don't know. The street's saying that Max a rat. Yeah, I got. I, don't I, got, I, got oh, I don't. I don't uh, what's the name? No rats. I, 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 I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I'm just, I'm, I'm just. I'm just saying. But I, I, you Not know, my boy. In the store, King Erna. King Erna snatched that man honor. Damn. 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 Bro. Man. Not my boy. I love Max B. I used to sell Max B tapes. Remember, I used That's to have what I'm saying. Sell his tapes for Lazy K. I'm just telling you what the streets say. That's crazy. So Not my boy. All right, well, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, nah, nah, let me re- nah, nah, let me nah, reiterate. Nah, nah. nah, you can still, you <laughs> know what it is? We still, this is the thing I was telling, like, we can love whatever artists we want to love, as long as we don't immortalize them. Yeah. He did change the scope of how we, uh, uh, we, we, we jumped on made, records. He made music, yeah. yeah Nigga, everybody's singing because of Max B. 
Mm. You know what I mean, we're not really because a couple niggas, but Max B signified it. He, Max it was B had a different, different type of right swing with it. Right, it was this Max B. He was the wave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he was he was a fun guy. Yeah. So we came up here, right? We hit a rap. Oh I mean, shit! Oh, are you shit. are you ready to really really rap? Or y'all, y'all, y'all really ready, ready to 10K. listen? Or this is the 10K report. 10K. Like, look, look, y'all about to get it live, right? Let's a lot get of it. niggas be joking. They come up here, they bars ain't together. We just listen to your music. Oh, we like he, he kind of witty. Yeah. Oh, he know how to make a song. Yeah. Oh, he know how to do this. He lyrical. He know how to do that. He <laughs> lyrical. <laughs> he definitely want to make a song. He definitely want to make a listen to good music. With me. Set yeah, it up, yeah, names. Yeah, what yeah. we doing? Yeah. Set it up, names. Hold. Let's get the camera together. My mic, man. Let's get the camera together. You get both against. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get both the cameras together. Word. Hold on. Let's get. It's the 10K report. We about to hear niggas really rap, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, A. Let's go, A. Go Welcome bars. to New Jersey. Jersey. Believe Welcome. that. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Dipping in the act, ooh, rolling up a sack, ooh, two chains on, no lie, that's a fact, ooh, haven from the street, I come straight from the block, and I learned the blueprint from the, the, the rock, uh, one solo for the cash, haven do the dash, uh, been ahead of time, you niggas is in the past, yeah. I go round, round, like a dungeon dragon up in Jersey where I live, homie ain't no lacking, uh, wavy to the shoes, tattered up my bruise, uh, signing autographs, telling kids go to school, wow, that shades, looking so cool, People think I'm dumb cause I trap like a fool Everywhere's in the building Bunk red, polo red I'ma go get a bitch, I don't beg Damn. Uh, Cry for a thought, no, I won't shed uh-huh. Now before she get me back, tell her I want head uh-huh. Smell good, ooh, look good Big Ava Smell good, ooh, uh. look good Damn. 3.5 in the bad world uh-huh. I'ma get guap, nigga, understood Damn. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't poppin' Lord. Yeah I be switching flows like a top. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You see me shopping. No. Come on, come on, and I'm come still on. get hit like a stock. Get him. Yeah. Pull get a white tee all the course. I be swapping. Yeah. And I drip like water. Niggas better get the mop. Yeah. Uh-huh. When you hit a flow, you get the bopping. When you getting paid, they be plotting. Yeah. Yeah. Careful online fans watching. Really? Phone by the hip every minute I'm clocking. Oh, Charged up, baby. I be like a battery. Every time I pull up, they be looking like they mad at me. Uh-huh. Smell good, ooh, look good. good. Huh? Smell good, ooh, yeah. look, look good. good. Yeah. Three point five in the bad woods. Yeah. I'ma get grab, nigga. Understood. Woo! Hey, bike flexing on computers. What else? Claiming you a winner, you a loser. Uh-huh. Yeah. Showing all this money with the Ruger. What else? Been on the bench your whole life. You not a shooter. Not a shooter. Damn. Never ever claim to be a tough guy. Never. Lived all over on the rough side. Yeah. Fear my where I had my first high. Always on the job, so now this ain't my first tie. Need a few G's, white T's, and some diamonds. I don't say much, cause people they be lying. Heavy on the belt and my watch gold. Feeling like wind on my neck, cause this shit cold. Ooh, smell good, ooh, look good. Smell good, ooh, look good. Damn. 3.5 in the backwoods. Jersey. I'm a gig crop, nigga, understood. Let's get it. Hey, hey, but talk uh, to him. Talk to him. Take us out, bro. Yo, you know what it is, man. Kid Ava Rex, what's the name of the joint? Take care of your report. Take care of your report, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Jersey. I'm Jersey. in this bitch. Jersey. They fucking with you. Great episode.